Hi, this video is from interview.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is the difference between CGLE proxy and JDK proxy. Spring's AOP is proxy based. Spring provides two different options to create the proxies. One is based on JDK dynamic proxies and work with interfaces. The other one utilizes CGLeap and is based on classes. JDK dynamic proxy can only proxy by interface. So your target class need to implement an interface which will also be implemented by the proxy class. For example, your target class is file uploader and it is implementing I love I uploader interface. Then your pro proxy class will also implement this and it provides a proxy object. So in order to create a proxy object, we will use the interfaces. So this is done by JDK dynamic proxy, whereas CGLib creates a proxy by subclassing. In this scenario, the proxy becomes a subclass of the target class, no need for interfaces. So selecting these two library, it, be, it depends on your class, the target class that you're implementing in your application. So in the CGLib, if you, if you have a class without no without interfaces, then we'll be using CGLib and we'll create the proxy, proxy object by subclassing it. So Java dynamic proxies can proxy public class file load file uploader implements i uploader whereas cglib can proxy public class file uploader let's see some points for cglib proxies the cglib proxies are created by subclassing the actual class this means wherever an instance of the class is used it is also possible to use the cglib proxy the class needs to provide that means your target class needs to provide a default constructor without any arguments otherwise you will get an illegal argument exception superclass has no null constructors but no arguments were given this makes constructor injection impossible the proxying does not work with final methods since the proxy subclass cannot override the class implementation hope you understand because final methods i can the proxy class cannot override but the other methods it can override and it can you can start the viewing or whatever process we need so this is this is the difference between these are the difference between cglib proxy and jdk proxy hope this video is useful thank you and all the best